As the new captain of the Rose Holman Rover Robotics team, I have worked hard to ensure the safety of my members within the current COVID-19 pandemic. Masks are required at all meetings and social distancing is enforced by only allowing small groups of people to work together at a time within the six feet. This decreases the chances of spread and contact tracing. Communication to and from the rover is set up over a 2.4 gigahertz bullet radio pair utilizing an omnidirectional antenna on the rover and a directional antenna on the motorized base. This year, we were able to test longer range communications than before in order to better mimic the scenarios that would be faced in the competition. The software implementation of this system was also improved to utilize the ROS framework in order to better handle loss of communication by halting the rover until communication is resumed. For the control of the actuators and data input on our rover, we use an independent microcontroller-based system running its own ROS node, which communicates to our Jetson Nano through a USB serial connection. This system uses high current motor controllers on a PWM protocol to drive our motors from the 12 volt power source. This year, we focused on improving the routing and robustness of our connections throughout the electrical system to ensure reliable performance at the competition. Our power system is driven by four series connected 72 amp hour lithium battery cells. This will be able to deliver adequate power across the entire day of competition on a single charge. To ensure the battery's longevity, this year we have added a battery management system, which is responsible for cell voltage balancing, as well as preventing damage to the pack from overcharging and discharging. We have also made the emergency stop button significantly more accessible and visible in the event that it is needed. This year, our rover's autonomous navigation system combines both GPS navigation and obstacle avoidance. We apply an extended common filter to determine the position of the rover from GPS and IMU data. We use a depth camera to build a 3D map of the environment and the RTAB SLAM algorithm to calculate the rover's position in the map. Using rover positions and the map, we use the A-star path planning algorithm to generate an optimal path for the rover to drive from the current position to the goal position and avoid all the obstacles along the way. After the rover reaches the goal position, the autonomous target tracking system will start. The rover will slowly spin in place and scan the surrounding area using a USB camera. Once the algorithm recognizes the AR tags and calculates the poses, motion plans will be generated to drive the rover safely through the gates. Our rover for this year features the same rocker bogey suspension and wheel designs from last year that have proven to be able to traverse through rough and uneven terrain. The chassis is now covered in polycarbonate sheets for improved durability, and the differential bar has also been reinforced for greater reliability. The drivetrain motors are now more protected from the environment, and a rubber coating has been applied over the polypropylene and aluminum sandwich structures on the wheels to improve traction on rocks and hard surfaces. Our robot is equipped with a new 5 degree of freedom arm built upon our previous design with a number of upgrades based on last year's SAR feedback and testing results. We have redesigned the arm with aluminum plates and standoffs to increase strength and durability while keeping the arm lightweight. The shoulder joint was redesigned with the motor mounted directly to the base of the arm to reduce backlash. The redesigned wrist uses a worm gearbox to increase joint torque and back driving resistance. The wrist geometry was redesigned such that the motor acts as a counterweight to the end effector. A slip ring allows for continuous wrist rotation for fastening screws. The new end effector uses a twin lead screw to open and close gripper jaws. These jaws can be swapped to optimize the arm for specific tasks, such as grabbing handles, picking up ropes, and pressing buttons. Absolute encoders have also been added to provide joint position feedback. Our science mission has been rebuilt entirely within the past two years. We will be using an excavator conveyor system to extract soil from the ground for analysis. Once collected, the soil will undergo a series of tests to check for moisture content and composition via visual inspection for macroscopic materials and laser-induced spectroscopy for elemental analysis. Based upon feedback and concerns from last year's SARS, we want to assure the judges that we are putting safety as our first priority and are implementing numerous fail-safes such as an auto shutdown feature and fully enclosed container to ensure that the laser we are using will not harm bystanders. Lastly, we are implementing a detachable microscope to allow analysis of rock features as well as more passive atmospheric measuring devices that check for gas presence, humidity, and wind.